What is the name of Sam Worthington's child? Rocket Zot. How much for personalized farts in a jar from a hot Cuban Latina? How much for this turning arrow Cheeto? My Cheeto goes to the right. Okay, let's... Chat, if you can say hello, I'd very much appreciate it. This is a Valentine's Day special because we are all about one thing and one thing only here, and that is love. So I have, during my free time, coordinated a Kahoot. People will come into the lobby. I will then ask the questions and then we'll see how many they get right. The first one is Kappa no Kappa. This is basically true or false. Candy hearts were originally designed for medical lozenges. Is that true or false? The answer is true. They were in fact made for med medical lozenges. Valentine's Day is the number one busiest day for restaurants. True or false? Tempting, huh? Everybody wants to go out, wine and dine, and then a number after that. False, correct. That is correct. It is not the number one. You think it is. It's actually Mother's Day. Mother's Day is the busiest day for restaurants. Both men and women prefer to receive chocolate over flowers. True. Definitely. At least you can eat chocolate. Like flowers, they last a day and then they just like f***ing die. And you're like, well, that's like how love. It shrivels up and it goes away. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm, it's, it's a joke. Chocolate filled chocolates is the most popular flavor in Valentine's boxes. Chocolateception. Some may call it the old choc, choc, chocception. It is false. Caramel filling, apparently the most popular in 2021. Penicillin was first introduced on February 14th, 1929. It is true. Oh, you say you've got a headache and we can't do the, we can't do the, have some penicillin. That's why it was introduced on that day. Teachers received the most Valentine's notes on the day. False, it's actually true. It makes sense. You would think it's like parents or something, but if you've only got one kid, two kids, three kids, four kids, you've got 30 kids in a classroom. Teachers don't deserve love. <laughs> wow. February is the only month to have 28 or 29 days dependent on the leap years. <laughs> Who did I get? Who did I get? All months have 28 or 29 days, fam. All months have 28 or 29 days. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. I've heard the joke so many times. The mind games, the mind games, people. If you want to somehow leap from last place to first place, this is where you do it because these are fing tough. Don't worry, I've given you, I think, 60 seconds. Double points. See, trying to make you back. From oldest to newest release, put these romance films in order. We've got The Notebook, Breakfast at Tiffany's, Ghost, and Casablanca. So which is the oldest and which is the newest? A few moments later. Casablanca is the oldest, then Breakfast at Tiffany's, then Ghost, then The Notebook. Up the top, Debbie is taking the lead, my goodness. In America, how much money was spent on Valentine's Day in 2021? 722 million, 1.27 billion, 10.3 billion, 21.8 billion. 21.8 billion dollars. Imagine how much you spent on Christmas. Good Lord, exactly that. And that's just America. What percentage of millennials chose Valentine's Day as their ideal day to propose or accept a proposal? 15%, 27%, 43% or 56%. 43 f millennials, you can do better than this. Now remember, it's top to bottom. There may not be words, so go with the bloody colors. From most like to least like, so from top to bottom, what are America's top four favorite chocolate variations for Valentine's? Cream filling, chocolate filling, caramel filling, chocolate covered nuts. <laughs> Only three people got it correct, holy shills. Sierra flew up, science flew up. What the? Yes! What is the correct monetary value of the product that you're about to see, okay? How much for a flaming heart pillow? $7.99, 1975, $32.50 or $50 exactly? It was 1975. 
and 18 people. The majority of people got it. That is, I would, that is. How much for these silicon feet? They're bendable, so you can get the toes in the exact position you Holy would like. Holy Jesus. What is that? That's $218. And congratulations again to the majority of people. $218 it is. How much for personalized farts in a jar from a hot Cuban Latina? 1515, yes, for the low, low price of 1515, you too can get some personalized farts in a jar. How much for a virtual high five? 99 cents it is, that's correct. I don't know how the transaction happens. Five sold. That's $5 that person made from doing absolutely nothing. How much for Roralee the Dinosaur Princess? You can own Roralee the Dinosaur Princess for $40. How much for a mirrored mannequin? $1.20, $12, $120, or $1,200? $120? Did I get that wrong? I may have done this wrong. I thought it was higher than that. Did I screw this up? Francois is an idiot. So we're just gonna blame Francois on that and just quickly play this. Um, no. How much for a massive chili nut? What's a chili nut? It's a nut that has chili, $12. Yeah, 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 $12 for that. How much for this turning arrow Cheeto? A dollar, a hundred dollars, a thousand dollars or $10,000? It was both the starting bid of $1,000 and the buy it now price of $10,000. My cheetah goes to the right. Okay, let's. Arrange Ed Sheeran's most streamed love songs on Spotify from most played or most streamed to least streamed. Later that same evening. It goes shape of you, perfect, thinking out loud, photograph. Evie all the way back up. This is what this is what the bonus rounds do. Celebrity children's names. These are the names that celebrities have given their kids with no remorse and thinking that they're good names. What is the name of Gwyneth Paltrow's child? Apple, Goop, Grape or Lychee? The name of the child is Apple. I'm glad that people thought Lychee was a good name for a kid because that was my last guess of what I should name a child. Goop is the name of her China scented candles. What is the name of Bear Grylls' children? So two answers here are correct. It is Huckleberry and Marmaduke. Those are the names of Bear Grylls' children. Those poor kids, Sham Master, I mean, at least they're not drinking their own urine on TV. What is the name of Reese Witherspoon's child? Nevada, Tennessee, California, Maine. It is Tennessee. They're the only 10 Reese Witherspoon sees. Somebody fix that in post. Sit, fix that in post so that people laugh right now. Okay, great. Fantastic. What is the name of Sam Worthington's child? Is it Adam Light, Helix Core, Rocket Zot, or Zoo Far? It is Rocket Zot. What is the name of Jason Lee's child? Nuclear technician, Ambo driver, Doc Farmer, or pilot inspector? You know this one, it's legendary. That is correct. The name is pilot inspector. Holy Jesus. What is that? That's the name of the kid. What the fuck is that? The name of the kid. What is that? I say it's the name of the kid. That's what they called it, pilot inspector. What is the name of Nicole Kidman's child? Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. It is Sunday. I wanted to end it on that one for the simple reason that it is Sunday, my dudes in the States, and it is Monday over here. If I did it yesterday, it would be Sunday here. That's the end of the quiz. So give yourself a big round of applause. We're about to find out the winners, but I hope you had fun. In third place, Sierra. In second place, Evie. And in first place, who is it? Who is it? It's Science Cell. Can we get a round of applause there? <laughs> that was Pogchamp's chat edition. I hope you learned a lot about Valentine's. I hope you learned a lot about celebrity kids' names and pilot inspectors and rotten what, what, rocket zots and stuff. But if you want to see this live and participate, twitch.tv slash reaps. 
Thank you so much to all the people watching on YouTube. Thank you so much to all the people here right now. Can you say goodbye to YouTube? Goodbye, goodbye. Bye.